Hey guys, welcome to Herding Little Cows to the Glory of God. This is one part of our Thanksgiving series. Join me as I show you how to make a roux, which is R-O-U-X, to make a roux to make mac and cheese sauce or a cheese sauce that we're gonna put on broccoli for our Thanksgiving meal. But it's a skill that is really easy to learn that a lot of people don't know how to do and you can make a lot of great toppings, not toppings, sauces <laughs> from this recipe. So here is what we're having for supper tonight. But this cheese sauce is the exact same cheese sauce you're gonna make to put on top of a broccoli dish to put for your Thanksgiving there. So we will see you guys at the end of this video. We will tell you where to link to the next video for the Thanksgiving series. See you guys. So the first step in the roux is to melt an amount of fat and add the same portion of flour to that fat. So I'm doing a half stick of butter here and I'm doing about a half cup of flour. You're also going to add pepper. We like pepper and you're going to add salt. I use this pink Himalayan sea salt. You can also use the white salt you saw that I bought on the challenge. Um, this is just what I have in my cupboard right now. You can actually find these bags for $1.25 at the Dollar Tree. And you're going to let this melt and the flour mix in and cook for a few minutes time until it starts to get just very slightly brown. You'll see it'll get thick. I'll show you in a second. Okay, so we're gonna make dry milk to put in that roux that we're making. And so I have three cups of water and to make dry milk for every cup of water, you use a third of a cup of the dry milk. It, mine, the brand that I have comes with a scoop, but the ones that we got at Walmart have the directions on the back. So I'm gonna put three. This is how I make my dry milk at home. And I take a top, all the tops I can find had holes in them, so I'll put my finger over the top. <laughs> We use these to use for drinks too. And then you're just gonna shake and keep your finger over the top. <laughs> and you can see my kitchen is not always clean. Do you see? We had a girl practicing, um, our nine year old is practicing making pies. That's part of her school this week. So she made us pie crust with cinnamon sugar for snack today. So anyway, you just mix it up like that. I took this off because Mark had to step outside yet. But this is what you want it to look like. It's gonna look a little a little grainy, I guess you would say. You're gonna have it on a low medium. And then you're going to add your liquid. I am making more than you are going to need for the broccoli recipe that is going with the Thanksgiving dinner, but I'm showing how to just make a general roux here. So I'm going to end up adding about eight cups of milk, but we will start with this portion. You're gonna to wanna to add it slowly so you don't get too many clumps. So you're gonna add some and stir it up and it's gonna get really thick as you first start this, but it will get thin again, don't worry. Probably loud on the video, so. We're just gonna add it slowly and have it on low heat. And you're gonna continue adding to make the liquid as thick as you want. This is going to thicken up as you cook. So if I just left it at the stage, you would have sludge at the end of the cooking time. You're going to be cooking it until it simmers. But what I'm doing right now is you're just gonna be mixing it in. So I'll show you the end when I put the rest of the milk in. There's something you hear the sound of this. Oh, come on. Okay, so I've added for my amount, eight cups of milk. What I'm doing for my roux is I had eight tablespoons of butter and I'm doing eight cups of milk. It gets me the texture that I want for the sauce that I'm trying to make. But if you want it thicker, you can add less milk if you want it or more fat <laughs> flour combination. If you want it thinner, you add more milk. Um, we are going to allow this to continue cooking. I turned it up to medium. And we're gonna allow it to continue cooking until it's at a rolling boil. You're going to want to mix it every once in a while at this stage, but as it gets closer to that boiling point, you're gonna to wanna to mix all the time and you're gonna mix it through a rolling boil for one minute. Then you will turn the heat off. We'll be back when it gets to that point. Okay, so this is the rolling boil you look, you're looking for. As I stir it, it still continues to boil. That's what a rolling boil is. Um, if it wasn't, see, it continues as soon as I mix it, it's boiling in that spot. That's, um, if it's not doing that, you haven't got to the rolling boiling point. So I am watching for one minute and I'm going to continue to stir this for that minute. And then we will turn it off and take it off the heat. Okay, so now we have, this is the completed roux. What you saw, it boiled for a minute. I took it off 
the heat. This is what is considered a roux. We are making a cheese sauce with that roux. So I am going to add cheese. You can add any and all types of cheese. And I'm just going to add, we happen to have shredded sharp. This is what we have. I'm gonna add some cheese. I'm trying not to put it in the burners. And then I'm gonna mix it. You don't wanna to add too much cheese at a time because it will get very stringy. Um, the thought is this is hot. And if you cool it down too fast, it's gonna make the cheese stringy. <clears throat> so add a little bit at a time, mix it in, then add a little bit more. I've let my cheese sit out at room temperature while I've been making this roux, so it's not cold right from the fridge, but you can use it right from the fridge. You just might have a stringier product, which is fine. And so you're gonna mix in, you're gonna mix in as much cheese as you want. I am probably gonna use about this much of the container because we are actually putting this on mac and cheese tonight, but this is the sauce. This is the sauce you're gonna be using to put on the broccoli for the Thanksgiving meal. So that's how you make a roux. We will see you guys next time on Herding Little Cats to the Glory of God. Bye.